Hello everybody, this is War Story Video Vlog. I am Alex and here we are on a military antique show in Ohio, November 2020. And here is Douglas, a military antique collector and dealer. Hi. Uh, hello, Douglas. And um, I would like to ask you about your uh, display. Could you sure. tell us about your collection? Uh, is it items for sale or just your collection? No, this is just some of my collection that I've put together over the last 20 years. Uh, I like infantry assault badges and I like the general assault badges. Yeah. And I try to find ones in real nice condition. Mm -hmm. And I have a few other interesting pieces here as well. Some, some postcards showing the infantry assault badge. And can you tell about uh, these items? Because for uh, some people, uh, this is a just um, sure. just the same badges. But we collectors know that there's a big difference between uh, each other. Right. There's various different makers here. Uh, some of these are in Tomback, which would be later war. The uh, this general assault here is in uh, Tomback, so it's an earlier piece. These are all in zinc. Yeah. And these are in zinc here. All three, yes? All three, yes. Yeah. This is a really unique badge here. It's known as the Art Deco badge. Because if you look at the eagle's head, it has a very distinct appearance in an Art Deco period from the 30s. And this is a fantastic condition, uh, unknown maker. Mm -hmm. And this one is it. That is also unknown. And what is the rarest from uh, this row? I would say the rarest would be this Doimer. In, in the middle. And the Art mm -hmm. Deco. And how much is it um, on the market now for... Uh... Uh, prices vary. I mean, for your zinc examples, you're going to be around $200 a piece, mm -hmm. $225. Uh, when you get into Tomback examples, you're going to be more like $400, mm -hmm. uh, probably $400 here. But here I saw uh, for prices, uh, price was much more, uh, much highest. Yeah, four fifty for a uh, beige. What was where? Right. Yeah. Yep. So this is the prices for to buy. Right. Yeah. Yep. Nobody wants to sell it. Nobody wants to sell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this row is um, the infantry assault matches. Again, you have some some zinc versions and mm -hmm. some tone back. Uh, you have three zinc versions here, the first three. And uh, this is bronze? Uh, this is the bronze, yeah, there's there's two levels, uh, the bronze versus the silver. So have, it's quite rare. You have FL, FLL, who's the maker here, mm -hmm. Shuko here, uh, MK6 here. Now you get into some tone back ones. Yeah. So you have a Joker tone back and this really outstanding Heinen uh, silver infantry assault badge is just gorgeous. You can see the frosting on that and finish. Yeah. And then you have a Doimer, and then Doimer Zinc, and an unknown maker there. And um, you still collecting? You... I still, yeah, if yeah. I can still find a piece that's in really nice condition, I'll, I'll certainly add to the collection. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's very good. And this one is really outstanding with uh, burnishing. The, the, the frosting on that, yeah. the burnishing, yeah, is incredible. If you look at the swastika, yeah. the, how they polish that swastika, polish the highlights. Mm -hmm. It's like a jewelry. It's like a jewelry, yeah. exactly. That's why, that's why collectors love, love the badges. Yes, yep. yes, yes. Douglas, can you reverse all these items and call producers? Because I think it's very interesting to to see difference between sure. uh, between every producer. And uh, when we can uh, see it on one screen, it's it's cool. Yeah, that's on a great screen. idea, sure. So let's yeah. start on the left here with the general saw badges. Mm -hmm. uh, so this I first one uh, is an unknown maker. And with a stamp, uh, no, it's it Asman. stamp number two. Oh, that is Asman, you're yeah, right. Yeah. Yep. And second one. Yep. Here's an Asman number four. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is Osman stamp here. And we go to Doimer. Mm -hmm. And then we go to another Doimer here, which now is a, is a tone back example. All right, have a good one. Yes, and next one. Next one is the ah, Doimer. Doimer too. Now here we get to the interesting Art Deco. Mm -hmm. And then we have an unknown version. Without any stamps. Here. Beautiful finish on that. Yeah, it's true. Unused. And then another unknown in somewhat worn condition. Mm-hmm. And here on the Osman pages we can see is uh, interesting thing. As I see hook and uh, the page is one piece. It's, it's right. Yeah, and it's like uh, pilot pages, like pilot pages. Uh, they tried to do it, uh, but uh, maybe something wrong was with uh, their uh, supply for to for to, for to do it. And um, you can see. A lot of Osman pilot beaches uh, with aluminium, uh, with repaired, uh, yes, they, they repaired hook, right. and I think it's factory, I'm, I'm sure it's factory repaired, because most of them uh, has this thing. Okay. Yes, and uh, here? So then we go to the uh, infantry assault batches, and here we have an FLL, bronze. And then a Shuko, which was gorgeous badge. Yeah, I had one. Okay. Uh, it, it was uh, type like type like this. How, how it call in in uh, English? Hollow or stamped? Yes, yes, stamped. It was stamped and uh, with a uh, stamp on the uh, rifle. Okay. Yeah. Yep. The next one. Mk6. Mm -hmm. Just mark right there. Yeah. And we can see difference between. Yes. Yep. This is like a, a flat or solid. This is a little bit scalloped. Mm -hmm. And parts. Parts yep. are different yep. too. Yep. Yes. And next one. Then we have a uh, Junker Tombak example here. Mm -hmm. Earlier war. And this is a stamp of Junker or no? That's stamped. Stamped? Yep. Um, hard to see. Oh, sorry, stamp with a maker, no. Oh, okay. No, sorry. Okay. And next one, burnishing. Mm -hmm. Look at all the, the finish still on the back there. It's yeah. Gorgeous. It's minty. And a doimer. Mm -hmm. Then we have the doimer and zinc. And last one and is... Last one is an unknown. And that's very interesting. Very interesting because uh, most time you can see one by one pages and uh, right. it, it's it's interesting to see side by side. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You can see the different hardware, like you, like you indicated. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yes. And the uh, pages illustrates uh, that guy who wear it uh, has been. Uh, in, in combat, yes, yeah, so, seen combat, and then and then uh, he has been captured, maybe or uh, killed in action, and uh, then GI or uh, yep. veteran, any veteran, just kept it. Or from the German family, you know, maybe they still yeah. had it as well. Uh, talked about killed. Here's a killed in action uh, officer right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, there is a two more, and um, all these uh, pages are. Yes, I mean, those are the original packets. This is a, a real nice JFS mm -hmm. in bronze with the packet. This is a really rare set here, the FLL L61 marked, mm -hmm. the original cellophane or glassine packet. And you can even sell it, see the L61 mm -hmm. on there. And this one. And this is an unknown maker, but that's the original glassine envelope as well. Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah. My main theme, uh, main focus on the daggers, and uh, it's quite rare to find dagger with a yeah. with a pack, yeah, pack, pack. yes, yeah. or tag it maybe. Yeah, that's interesting. And uh, what does this it? This is a this is a really interesting piece. Um, take take a look at this. It's a it's a cut off uh, 
a uh, piece of insignia from a uh, enlisted cap, German uh -huh. Army enlisted cap. But what's neat, I don't know if you can read that, is the U.S. veteran, the GI, sent this back to maybe his mom or his dad or mm -hmm. girlfriend. And it says, a souvenir from one German that won't heil Hitler anymore. You can put it in the scrapbook. So yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's very impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. So that's, that's, I like that piece. That's why I stuck that in there. Yeah, that's very interesting. Thank you for sharing. Well, thank uh, you. Thank you for showing. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so, Douglas, I wish you to find some new items for your collection. It's uh, more hard. Um, I hope so. It's getting, yes. it's getting tough. Yes, yes, yes. And thank you very much. And I hope our subscribers enjoyed it. Thank you, Alex. Okay. Thank you. Alrighty. Bye. Bye.